Cooking Today, brought to you by the Sola Healthy Lifestyle Kitchen. Lose the sugar, not the taste. Get the kids in the kitchen with healthy and good foods they'll love to pack in their lunches. Welcome Chef Mark Allison. Today he is showing us how to make avocado and white bean wraps. Hello sir, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Good. This should have been last month, but uh, Florence came through and it was delayed, so this was supposed to be a back to school lunchbox. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do it anyway. Okay, that's uh, fine. And, and a healthy lunch. Okay. okay. Yeah. So what we've got is some cannellini beans. I've got a little bit of olive oil in. We're going to add a little bit of salt, okay, and a little bit of lime juice or lemon juice, whatever you prefer. Then we've got an avocado. And I was just told the other day, the number one reason that people go to hospital for cuts is through avocados. Really? Yeah, we're all cutting really. our hands when yeah, we're cutting avocados? Yeah, we're all cutting our hands or fingers when we're dealing with an avocado. So just cut around the stone and That's then pull it. it apart. Get your knife, just the tip of the knife, and just put it in the stone and then just drop it off yeah. and that's it okay Good. then just take your spoon and then all you're going to do is put the avocado in with the beans and then we're just going to mix that together and make a paste and all you need to do is just take a fork and you're just going to mix it all together nice and easy taste it make sure it's got enough seasoning in mm -hmm. and then you're going to get to that stage where it's a paste okay okay and once you've got to that stage then all you're basically going to do is take your wrap, mm -hmm. whole wheat, of course, and then we're going to take some of the paste, put it in the middle, and oh. then spread it on. I think this is a great idea for kids' lunches because it's really healthy and it gets them kind of out of the rut of eating the same exactly. thing every day. Exactly. Chicken nuggets yeah, yeah, or right. whatever. Right. And then we've got some red cabbage. And remember, the more color in your vegetable, the more nutrition. So we're going to put some red cabbage in. We've got some grated mm. carrot. We're going to put that in. A little bit of diced red onion, okay? And then I've got some adobo sauce, so it's like a little sweet chili mm -hmm. sauce. We're going to add a little bit of that. And then we have some cheese. I've got f some feta cheese here. That goes on the top. And then we've got some cilantro. But like anything, you're going to put in what your children like, okay? That's the, the real mm -hmm. thing. But it also gets them to try something different. And then all you're going to do is roll that up, take your knife, Cut it in half, put it in a lunch box, and it's ready to go. That is a great lunch. I'm thinking, forget the kids. Mama's going to eat this. I like no, it, right? I'm sure the whole family will yeah, like that. Yeah. My boys love them. Yeah. And to go with that, I thought, why don't we have a corn salad? So just get some normal corn, okay? okay? And then take your knife, and you're just going to cut down and take off all the kernels. By the way, yep. is this it, is delicious. Is that good? Oh. I love it. Good. Oh, and it's good. all healthy. Mm. So you're taking off all the corn, and then what you're going to do is just put it into a bowl. And then we've got some basil. Now remember, people think corn isn't too good for you. It's not nutritious. Well, there is nutrition in corn. It's when it's turned into corn syrup, it doesn't come very nutritious. Thank you for and saying that, yes. if you uh, add a lot of butter. So we've got some basil. We're going to add that as our seasoning. And we're just going to chop that basil up, pick it up on your knife, put it in with the corn. We've got some diced red onion. Mm -hmm. And then I made a very simple vinaigrette, which is basically just one part vinegar, a little a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and some olive oil mm. whisked together. And we're just going to pour that on the top. And how simple is that? And then all we're going to do is mix that together. And there is a side salad mm. to go with your wrap for a perfect kids lunch. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is delicious. Thank that you. looks so good. Absolutely. Yeah. Go for it. You can get this on our website, WCNC.com. What do you have working on these days, Chef? Uh, I just finished a load of recipes for uh, Disney. It's Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday coming up on November 18th. So they've all been sent to Disney. They've all been approved, so that's good. And now I'm working on another project for the Dole Food Company, as well as the Cabarrus Health Alliance. Oh, your food is so good. I know you Thank believe you. in simple, clean ingredients, correct? Two things yeah. to live by, cook and use simple ingredients, and yeah. you can't go wrong. Yeah. Then you're not eating processed food, and it's full of additives, preservatives, colorants, fat, sugar, and salt. Mm -hmm. So if you're picking single ingredients like a red cabbage, that's all you are eating is right. the red cabbage, no preservatives. So you mix them with your carrots, your beans, your avocados, you've got a perfect healthy dish. Yes, so you do. So good. Chef Thank Mark so. Allison, we love having you here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.